What's up YouTube? I'm here bringing you a quick video of my watch collection as it stands today. Um, I started collecting watches about a year ago when I received two watches for Father's Day. Um, it's kind of taken off from there. So I'll show you what I have. Tell me what you think. Let's start with Casio. This was the first watch I received on Father's Day from my wife. Um, all black. I love the way it looks. It's got the digital face to do the stopwatch and do time and alarm and anything else that you would expect with a digital watch, but it still has the hands and the look of a more traditional analog watch. The other watch that I received on Father's Day was this Pugo. Um, this watch just looks amazing with the white face, blue numbers, and blue sub dials, brown leather band. I did break the crystal on this, and when I sent it in, customer service told me all I had to do was send it in. My watch would be repaired for free. I only paid for shipping, and um, I didn't have a warranty, so the customer service on this is great. And like I said, it looks amazing. So this is definitely worth it. Next, I bought my first Invicta. I have many Invictas, so as you will see, but this was my first one. It's just a plain chronograph Invicta stainless steel. I actually got it and got my wife one at the same time. One right here is what I got for my wife. Hers has the uh, Mother of Pearl dial. I was going to get both of them with the Mother of Pearl dial, but I really didn't like the Mother of Pearl dial as she did. So, you know, they still look pretty similar as far as the kids and her watch concerned. They're both just stainless steel chronographs. Um, so, since we're talking about my wife's watch. I'm going to introduce you to our other ones. This one's a Wagner. White face. White leather band. A very simple dial with the date. A very petite watch. Um, it's a great woman's watch. My wife likes it a lot. And this was the second watch that I bought her. And I can honestly say she's probably as into watches as I am right now. This is another watch. This one just came from my wife maybe two days ago. This is a Casio G-Shock uh, Bathing Apes edition. Um, I've seen countless and countless of videos on this particular watch on YouTube and how to detect whether it's fake or not. And just from that alone, originally I didn't even want to purchase it, but I found a quality seller and my wife was just in love with this watch, so G-Shock has a couple of the purple watches, but none of them have the white face and that's what she really likes, she likes how the white face pops on the purple in this the other one is a black face, I believe, and this one is purple on purple but I have to agree with her, the white on purple looks pretty cool and after watching videos on this I, I pretty much believe that this is a genuine um, the glow is very bright as you can see you can see the eight. the day of the week is in the right position between the two second hand counters um, the counters go just like any other G-Shock so that's nothing crazy um serial number is uh a thousand i've been heard of people saying if it says two thousand it's fake uh eight shall never kill eight is five spaces i mean the casio you can get that from anywhere but to my knowledge this is original like i said my supplier was pretty genuine and 
even if it's not, I mean, like I said, my wife loves this, to look at this watch and you really can't find the purple on white anywhere else. So I'm so happy with the purchase. This is a Caravelle that my wife found and um, has the expansion band. It's just a gold plated case. The only thing with this is when she found it, and she asked me to change the battery on it to manual one watch. I mean, I, I kind of figured that with the age when I was doing my research on it, but the only problem is it winds, and it's, if you can see the second hand moving, it keeps pretty decent time, but the crown comes out completely, so you can't set the time. I uh, originally just took the watch apart and set it for her. It was just winding it every day so that it would still keep the time. But then I decided to go ahead and try and repair it. I bought another one on eBay and it turns out it has the same problem. So I have one more coming. It should be here sometime this week. Hopefully I'll get this watch repaired. This one also works, it winds and it keeps time, but I don't know what it is about the crowns. Now we're talking about eBay. I got this Iggy. Um, it's not the greatest. I like the colors, like the mustard yellow and brown. Um, my wife actually wears this a little bit more than I do, but for a dollar on eBay, you cannot beat it. It's my Aravos on a mechanical watch that would be like a power reserve, but this is actually a 24 hour meter. And it's a good watch. I like the casing that this came in. Um, for the money that I paid for it, it suits the purpose and it just looks really amazing. I mean, it's a U-boat style. I got a Galana. Still has the plastic on it. I've only worn it once. Um, this is a nice watch. It's kind of small compared to some of my Invictus. I've kind of gotten used to bigger watches. Even the Airbus is a lot bigger than this. If you look doesn't look that big right there but trust me when I say there's a huge size difference but all in all this is a great watch the loom on this watch is amazing the leather band is a uh, pretty high quality great watch my Russian diver I said I love and make this and the quality of watch that you get for the money cannot complain I have a few other Invictus and I've heard of people complaining of getting broken ones or things you know just the quality control not being there but I've had no problems at all this is just a traditional Invictus Russian diver with the GTM and the date. I liked it so much that I picked up another one. This one right here is brand new. I just got it a couple days ago. I actually bought two because I got it at such a good price and selling it, one of them on eBay. This is the Spider Edition, as you can see by the band. Um, it has a spider at 12 o'clock and the spider for the GTM hand date and besides that it's still the Invictus standard uh, Russian diver but another beautiful watch now to my uh, sub number 3 I got this with the big case and all of the other bands, the leather band, the metal band, but the yellow band is on it 
most. I just figure y'all watch, you know, real bright watch. Might as well wear the rubber yellow band. It's the carbon fiber face. It's a limited edition. So Rocco number three. I really like this watch. Um, I have plans in the future because as I've gotten into watches, I, I have a lot of respect for mechanical and automatic movements and I just find them more attractive. So my new plan for this watch is to get an ETA movement with the three sub dials, the chronograph ETA movement, get a display case back from a different uh, sub Rocco number three, put that movement in here and transform this watch into an automatic. Otherwise, to look at this watch, the size of this watch is amazing. I also plan to do the same thing for my two Russian divers, display case back and an ETA movement with GTN time and the date. My Lupa, the red type dials, the loom on the hands. The loom on the hands isn't that great, but I love most about this watch is the case itself. If you can see the case has some arc, like it's flat right there, but the rest of it arcs. So sits on your wrist perfectly. It almost feels like a wristband. Still has a lot of weight to it so you know you don't completely forget that it's there but this is a beautiful beautiful watch. I always get asked questions when I have this one on just because it, the look is a little different from what I usually wear and the red is it just pops so. A Russian pocket watch Really like pocket watches, nice prices. I really, what I really want is a much bigger pocket watch. I want like the 18 size pocket watch. But for now, I'm enjoying this one. Wearing it out on occasion. Keeps good time. This is a Russian pocket watch from the 60s. Um, I haven't opened it up and looked at the movement in detail yet, but I will in the future. And this is a Bulova. Has the diamonds all around except for 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. This is the Bulova sign at 3, I mean at 12, and the date at 3. This is my only diver's watch that has a true diver's class. This watch, and as much as I like the big watches, this watch is just sleek, and you can almost forget that it's there. It just sits there. It's very small in comparison to some of my others, but I don't seem to mind at all, just because of the slim profile of the watch and just how it just—it's just real subtle, but bold at the same time. Um, I haven't done any swimming or diving with this watch yet. I've actually only been diving once in Mexico but plan to do so some more and that's when I took out my Russian divers and they actually did pretty well so all in all that is my watch collection as of today. Um, I have a lot more plans in the works, a lot of things that I might get rid of, a lot of things that I really want. Um, I'll do a couple more in-depth reviews of some of my watches, let you know how the progress is going along with the ones that I plan to alter. And just stay tuned to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more reviews of watches in general.